spot where he died, a collection of flowers is rapidly growing as news continues to spread that the former Deputy Prime Minister Boris Nemtsov was assassinated near the Kremlin. The vocal opposition politician was shot four times in the back. His friend, the former world chess champion Garry Kasparov, wrote on social media, it represents a bullet for each child he leaves behind. Speaking just hours before he was killed, he reaffirmed his concerns over the current regime. The country needs a political reform. When power is concentrated in the hands of one person and this person rules forever, this will lead to an absolute catastrophe. Absolute. Known for being charismatic, astute and bold, Boris Nemtsov became an international figure. He came to prominence after the fall of the Soviet Union and was the first deputy prime minister to serve Boris Yeltsin. His friend and former Russian Prime Minister Mikhail Kasyanov was at the scene of his murder just half an hour later. I'm still in, in a deep shock what happened last night with Boris. Just He was murdered uh, in, in a demonstrative manner just near the Kremlin. That's absolutely, absolutely uh, difficult to imagine that could happen in the 21st century in the center of Moscow. The drive-by shooting, which may have involved this white car, is sending waves of fear across Russia. A march which he helped organize opposing fighting in Ukraine will now become a memorial in his honor. David Cameron is calling for an independent investigation, saying, I'm shocked and sickened by the callous murder of Boris Nemtsov. The Russian people have been deprived of a champion of their rights. Boris Nemtsov is dead, but the values he stood for will never die. In Ukraine, Maidan Square is also remembering the man they feel risked himself by standing up for their rights. Boris declared that he would reveal persuasive evidence about the involvement of Russian armed forces in Ukraine. Someone was very afraid of this. Boris was not afraid. The hangmen and executioners were afraid. They killed him. The Kremlin has publicly revealed the details of a telegram sent by Vladimir Putin to Mr. Nemtsov's mother, which reads, Everything will be done so that the organizers and perpetrators of a violent, cynical murder get the punishment they deserve. Russia's investigative committee, headed by President Putin, says it's looking into the possibility the assassination was carried out by Islamic extremists.